Alexa, how do I add something to my shopping list? According to WikiHow, to make a shopping list, first identify a few items you need to buy. That's not what I meant. There might be things you've recently That's not what I meant. Like dish soap or shampoo or items you purchased. This is, this is actually a very useful thing if you didn't know how to make a shopping list. But Starting it's not to do with my shopping list. On a piece of paper or on a note on your phone. Alexa, stop. You... Today, I think we're talking about, um, well, voice interfaces, I think, and the uh, Amazon Echo, which uh, uses the Alexa service, which I'm sure a lot of viewers will have, uh, will have used or have one or something like that. And we've got it on mute at a minute, haven't we? <laughs> yeah, just because, you know, it would be quite irritating if it wasn't on mute. <laughs> Especially talking about Alexa without actually addressing Alexa. Oh, you're going to be annoying a lot of people at home now. <laughs> <laughs> in our studies, actually, the, the people who are using the devices have to work out ways to talk about it without addressing it. So actually, that becomes something you've got to do. In essence, uh, we say something like a question, ask for information, perhaps we want to play a game or something like that, um, and the device hears it, and then it responds, and you know, gives us the information we want, perhaps adds something to our shopping list or whatever it might be, you know, um, gives you directions for, you know, going to some place on, on the map, or whatever. And that's essentially what happens. So why don't you ask something right, to okay. Alexa? Alexa, what is computer file? The definition of computer file is computer science, a file maintained in computer readable form. Did that answer <laughs> your question? No. <laughs> well, that's a tricky one because there's ambiguity there, right? Because yeah. I've asked about what I'm talking about, computer files, one word, and it's taken it as being two words, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, that, so we think we're in one situation, but the uh, <laughs> Alexa thinks we're in another situation. So, and now it's just triggered again. Thanks a lot. Alexa, stop. Okay, I'll yeah. mute it. In the description, I'm going to go through kind of some of the basic things that happen, but obviously it's much more complex than this. If we give the example of kind of thinking about a shopping list, so with, um, with Alexa you can maintain a shopping list, you can add stuff, remove stuff, whatever it might be. So what we're going to do is we're going to say something like, you know, Alexa, could you tell me what's on my shopping list? So this is us saying something, uh, so you know, this is our smiley face speech bubble. Let's see if I can draw a speech bubble. You know, this is a waveform effectively when it's picked up by the device. So, you know, sound, the sound wave. What the device is going to do, it's going to take this stuff and it's going to run it through automatic speech recognition, ASR. And this is detecting what was said, essentially. The first thing the ASR is doing, but it's local to the device, is picking up the wake word. Alexa, the wake word, is the first thing that's being detected. So there is some kind of onboard speech recognition going on on the device itself to work out when Alexa is being said. Now the rest of the stuff, the kind of the could you tell me what's on my shopping list, that's being shipped off to the cloud for speech recognition being done on the rest of this sentence that we're saying to the device. Um, and that's kind of passing through these very sophisticated, complex, deep learning models. You know, this is, I think, one of the major innovations of these devices is actually having ASR that works, you know, pretty well. I'm not saying it works for everyone, but it works uh, well for a lot of people, at least compared to kind of how things used to be. So it's shipping all this stuff off into the cloud you know, could you tell me what's on my shopping list? It's transcribing those into a bit of text, essentially. So we've got this bit of text that says, could you tell me what's on my shopping list? And now we need to do something with that text. We need to make sense of it in some way. And one of the first stages that uh, it goes through is something called natural language processing, NLP, or natural language understanding. And this is taking this text and breaking it up into things that are meaningful from the point of view of the, uh, the system, essentially from the point of view of the Alexa service. And that's not going to be everything, so some stuff's going to get chucked away. So I would guess, and this is just my guess, that the things that's happening in the, in the natural language processing and natural language understanding um, elements of the, of the kind of the cycle, if you like, is things like shopping lists. That's something that it knows about. Perhaps, you know, could you, not really necessarily that useful, so probably being chucked away. That's almost, almost like a politeness. Right? Yeah, 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 exactly. Um, so it's kind of redundant from the point of view of the system, although, you know, if we talk about actual conversation and talk, it's certainly not redundant in actual talk, it's meaningful. Um, it's probably something like tell me is, is a significant um, phrase, again that's being parsed out and noticed by the parser. 
Um, and maybe some of the other bits about, you know, my shopping list rather than, you know, Sean's shopping list or something like that. So it's parsing these things out. The sentence is starting to be decomposed into things that are meaningful from the system point of view. After this stage, what we're now looking at is, you know, we've got to do something with these bits of uh, sentence that we parsed. And this is obviously a simplification. Um, and I'm sure there are lots of other architectures around there and that are different to this one. Um, but I'm just going to go with kind of what I know. Then there's something called a dialogue manager. And this thing is taking all those bits, the parsed bits, we you know, we know something about, you know, subject and the object and whatever it might be. Um, in this case, you know, the, the meaningful thing might be shopping list. Um, and the kind of command to tell me and the, the fact that it's my shopping list, not someone else's. And the dialogue manager is taking all these bits and pieces and it's got to come up with the next response, sorry, a response to it. In this case, it might be, you know, there's nothing currently on your shopping list or whatever Alexa actually says as a result of that, uh, that command. So, you know, it's got to generate something. But in the course of doing so, the dialogue manager has got to do all sorts of other stuff. It's got to kind of put you perhaps in some kind of conversational flow or like a state it's going to be looking at kind of what stage you're at in the you know current assumed from the system's point of view assumed assumed conversational um, you know uh, state might be, and then it's got to draw on other resources as well. With a shopping list, it's kind of something about Amazon services come into play. So you know where it's storing this information. I'm no idea where it's storing it in the cloud somewhere, but it's retrieving that information about what's actually on the shopping list. This is like data. It might be other stuff that we're looking up, like perhaps web resources. You know, if you asked about information about a particular topic, it's got to scrape that stuff off the web or grab it somehow. And then it's got to feed that into the dialogue manager, which is doing this kind of generating next responses. So in my kind of simplified version, there's something about the kind of state we're in in the conversational flow. Perhaps there's more questions that the device is going to ask after this or whatever it might be to clarify things or whatever. Um, there's some other resources that it might be drawing on to feed data into the response. And then it's generating response, which might be, as I said, you know, um, you know, you have no items on your shopping list, right? which is kind of, you know, that's kind of what it's coming out with. But then that's just a kind of, you know, text output. It's got to say this. So the next stage is to do text to speech. So it's got to generate speech. Um, based on what this text is. Your shopping list is empty. So there's a whole load of complex stuff around speech generation. You know, there's a whole whole area of research um, about how you actually go about doing that, um, which is again very sophisticated and complex. And then it comes out of the device, the echo, as the response. And so we hear it. The really heavy stuff is this stuff here, like the ASR stuff here, the speech recognition stuff. That's where you need a whole ton of data and quite, you know, significant models um, that you've learned, um, which then, you know, you put in input, which is these bits of audio and you get output and that's, you know, which is these bits of text, which are, which are, uh, which map, you know, there's, and there's obviously a confidence associated with that. Um, and that's a whole, you know, massive complex area. So that's the stuff that really relies on, on, you know, these kind of um, significant computing power. Um, also, you know, the, the parsing, they're going to be wanting to update all the time, so that has to be a service. But yeah, in terms of the text-to-speech, because they want to kind of update it and change it and pushing out updates to the device would be a problem, so that might be why you would, you would actually be shipping audio, but something we could, we could find out <laughs> or be told by, uh, by commenters, I'm sure. The reason for doing this rather artificial example is to say, oh dear, does this matter? We have got a sentence that makes perfect sense to us. And one picture of Sean, right? So maybe Rob Miles gets put over here near me, which is not so good, but we'll get to that. And then you're put over here like this. 